All right, Caitlin definitely saved the day with this one. I mean, not that I wouldn't have seen it, but <laughs> she just walked the other direction. I mean, this thing is just sitting. I was expecting them to be I'm at least... Really? Just now? Okay. She's looking at another king snake. I can see it from here. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that might be two. Good morning, everybody, from slightly sunny and slightly warm South Georgia. It is the beginning of a nice weekend, and I'm on the road with Caitlin, and we are going to be looking for snakes and warmer climates down here uh, across South Georgia, maybe a little North Florida, over the next couple of days. So we're going to start off the day in a relatively familiar location in the swamp and see if we can find some common snakes here. Uh, there are some really cool things here, too, like king snakes, but... Given the weather today, I would be kind of surprised if we saw one of those, but it's definitely in the realm of possibilities. So we're going to walk around, see what we can turn up. Let's get to it. Well, it's a really not good look, but there's our first snake of the day. Huge cottonmouth through the blackberry. I don't know if we're going to be able to get closer to him or not, but we're on the board. That was a pretty good narrow mouth flip. There's five or six of them under here. I think I can see six right here. And a couple went down the holes. I didn't really think there would be more than one cotton mouth out in these beautiful sunny rocks right now. But I'm not seeing anything. Lots of anoles, but no snakes. All right. Since it doesn't seem much as out basking, we're gonna try to flip some of this junk and see if we can find something underneath something. Nothing under there. I did actually see Two ribbon snakes basking earlier but they uh they both dipped this guy is just chilling under this tire all right here we have the uh the more interesting things that were underneath there are two young newts which i actually have not seen here before and then a uh pretty healthy looking juvenile eastern ribbon snake first uh capturable snake of the day end of the trip all right mr ribbon here's your can you stop i'm just trying to put you back under your tire <laughs> there you go. All right, and little newts back to their tire. There you go, buddy. Come on. Let's move. <laughs> so cool. So under that tire, there were like 10 narrow mouths, two newts, and a ribbon snake. Here's another brown-green tree frog. That guy is very, very brown. Careful peek behind that pine bark right there revealed two adult gray rats or small adult gray rats. Definitely not fully grown. Could even be siblings. Very, very similar in size and look, but very nice at the same time. One of these guys is a lot friendlier than the other one. This one has been giving me attitude. But both of them very pretty, although covered in dust. Let's see if I can clean them off a little bit. All right, here's a look at these two side by side before I let them go. You can see this one's a lot lighter. And this guy's a little darker. Looks a little bit more like our North Georgia gray rats. And then uh, this guy looks a little bit more like your typical South Georgia gray rat. You see these guys' heads side by side pretty well here. Caitlin was just pointing out how different they look for snakes that could potentially be siblings. But it's your classic integrated zone between uh, gray and black rats. This guy that's darker is obviously showing a little bit more of that black rat influence. And then the classic South Georgia white oak gray rat. All right, we're going to try to get these guys to go back behind this bark right here where I found them. This guy is definitely going to go. We'll just let him go first. That whole piece came off very nice and clean, and I was able to just prop it back up. There he goes. Nice. All right, we've got another tire right here. Looks like it could be good. Uh, looks pretty promising, but there's nothing under it. All right, well, this cold little dude is our first common five-line skink of the year. And uh, I think it was one of the more recent episodes we found a southeastern five-line skink. You can see the enlarged row of scales right here by my thumb in the middle of the tail. That's how we tell this is a common five-line. And uh, you count the row... The row of scales on the lip is how you tell it's not a broadhead, but there you go, bud. Now we're gonna flip this tire. We'll try to. Might have to cut 
cut to get this thing up. Oh, there we go. Clear. There's another multi narrow mouth and newt flip. Tiny newt once again. All right, I accidentally canceled my recording in the middle of flipping that, but there's a couple more narrow mouths and another newt. Eventually, one of these tires is gonna have something rare under it. I just have to flip enough of them. Not that one. It's like a couple of things here I might be able to look under. You can see no dirt under this because it has been uprooted and thrown by a feral hog. This one. Uh, it's nice and ingrained. There is a couple of narrow mouths right there. But that's why the uh, the tires and the big logs are so good here. Because everything else has just been absolutely eviscerated. Oh, green snake. And eggs. Green snake and narrow mouths and eggs and a newt. Ridiculous. But yeah, the stuff that the critters are gonna be under is pretty predictable. And I think that's because of the feral hogs. That is really cool. I don't know if there's a green snake eggs or something else eggs, but another very cool flip. I'm gonna get a picture of this one while it's sitting here. So I really don't know why the last two times we flipped a green snake in this area, they have been with eggs in the winter. Um, presumably these are eggs that hatched last year, but it's just interesting to me, even if these, as long as they're green snake eggs, it's it's very interesting to me that they seem to spend the winter uh, under the same cover that they lay their eggs under. Very, very odd. So these are two distinct clutches, I think, because they're clumped together. I do think these are probably green snake eggs. I don't know what else they would be at the size, but these two were attached together. And then those four are attached together. So it could be one clutch that was laid in two little clumps or two separate clutches. Either way, very, very interesting. Well, it has not gotten old flipping green snakes. In fact, I'm not sure I will ever get used to flipping green snakes because a couple of years ago, I would have told you that flipping green snakes is not possible. And now we do it semi-regularly. But yeah, mostly only pulled this guy out to put his uh, tire back and let Caitlin see him. So we'll let him go and keep flipping. Maybe we'll get another one or something else. I'm really hoping that we could get something rare. Uh, I don't want to jinx anything by saying it, but I do think there's potential that these tires and logs down here could produce something really, really cool eventually. It's just a matter of time. All right, this tire meets our criteria. It's high and dry. It has not been messed with by hogs. Nothing? Not even narrow mouths under that. It's just an overcast, beautiful spring day right now, and uh, the snakes are not participating. And I don't understand why. Well, the snakes under cover are participating, but I think they'd be out basking right now. Look at this tire. Surely there's something under this. Nothing. Not even a narrow mouth. Gigantic log. It's definitely heavy. Nothing under it. I'm definitely a little bamboozled at the lack of basking snakes because we've got that perfect overcast cloud cover. It isn't super warm. It's 67, but I mean, it feels really warm out here. Maybe that's just because I've been flipping a lot of stuff, but it feels like the type of day we should see, you know, 15 to 30 snakes, and I don't think we're going to get to 15. Well, I jokingly told Caitlin to find a king snake, and sitting right here, just in the middle of the open, is our king snake. I mean, we, we really haven't seen many snakes out today, but I guess the ones that we're finding are quality. Look at that. All right, Caitlin definitely saved the day with this one. I mean, not that I wouldn't have seen it, but <laughs> she just walked the other direction. I mean, this thing is just sitting. I was expecting them to be I'm at least... Really? Just now? Okay. She's looking at another king snake. I can see it from here. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that might be two. All right, there's the first king. And right there is number two. Holy cow. So we're just going to ignore the, uh, the little bit of grossness going on on the back end of the snake because his front third is just incredible. I know it's like a coastal Georgia king snake, but we are not anywhere near coastal Georgia right now. That is a thing of beauty right there. 
king snakes and chorus frogs. What a stunner. All right, back to the rocks with these beauties. What a day. And what a way to finally start having some, some success with basking snakes today. It's taken all day, but they're finally out. It's time to cook. Let's see what else we can find. All right, here goes this one. Assuming he's just gonna poke around down the leaf litter right there. We will try to uh, leave him right there without scaring him down a hole since it is basking time. Look at that pattern, such a good looking snake. All right, I found some kind of random tin out here and underneath it, there's a nice cotton. All right, that right there is our first plain bellied water snake of the year. He's also very muddy as many of the snakes here are going to be right now coming out of brumation. This is new. I've not flipped many brown skinks out here before. A couple of those hanging out with some narrow mouths, of course. So the next snake of the day is an odd one. What is this? That is so weird. It's like an erythrogaster, but it's got a white chin and like almost a cypodon looking face. I'm not, I'm not gonna say it's a hybrid, but I am gonna say it's one of the weirdest erythrogaster I've ever seen. I mean, that is, that is not a normal plain bellied water snake. Really cool. Look at his little tail. It's so funny. Really cool though. Interesting, weird, plain-bellied water snake. This one's not in shed. The one that we saw earlier that I did not show very long was in fact in shed. So cool to get one that's not. All right, here you go, big thing. Not sure what to call you, but we're gonna call you a plain-bellied water snake for now. All right, guys, well, it has been a pretty fantastic day, and I think it's a fitting end to uh, wrap up the day by flipping this tire right here. Um, missed this one on the way over here, but I have found salamanders under it before. There are uh, two anoles, two sleepy anoles. All right, we'll cover those guys back up. Well, that's probably gonna be it for the day. We are going to drive a little bit further south and uh, hopefully have an even better day tomorrow. It's going to be pretty hard to beat today, but we are going to be in a much warmer area and a much better weather condition. It's supposed to be up to like the mid-70s tomorrow, which is going to be awesome. So hopefully the spot we're going to will be good, but I will see you guys when we get there. All right, well, it's the next morning. We're in the hotel, and we have our first find of the day, an inside the hotel slug. Good morning, everybody. We are in deep South Georgia today in the swamp lands in pursuit of a couple of the snake species that I still have to find within the Georgia borders, most of which live down here along the Florida line in deep South Georgia. So we're gonna start off the day by walking through a swamp. Hopefully we'll at least see some common snakes basking. And if we're really lucky, we might be able to spot one of the more elusive species that I'm hoping to see. Those being in this area are the uh, Florida green water snake, striped crayfish snake, black swamp snake, and potentially Florida crown snake here too. So we shall see. I mean, obviously the Florida crown snakes are not going to be in this habitat for people who are acquainted with Tantilla, but they could be in this general area. So we shall see. Well, I do believe that's our first southern cricket frog of the year. Nothing crazy, but uh, a new species nonetheless, and one that we don't actually have back home, at least commonly. They do make it into North Georgia, but very, very sparsely populated. Well, there's our first snake of the day. It is, in fact, a water snake, just not a green one. This is a, uh, actually, it might be Florida water snake subspecies here, but a banded water snake, um, Nerodia fasciata. Definitely the first one we've seen this year, though. Oh, he left. The birds are birding out there, and uh, right here we have... A green tree frog sitting on a leaf. Still not very green, but greener than the ones we saw yesterday. All right, there is banded water snake number three for the day. Caitlin spotted one that was really far away. And here is banded water snake number four. You can barely see this one. You see his head a little bit there. Hello, Brother. We've got a happy green anoles here, not the uh, brown winter anoles like back home. liking what I'm seeing. 
All right, guys, well, we're probably gonna start to transition into more upland habitat for a little bit and circle back and check this wetland again once it warms up, so. Lots of banded water snakes out this morning, but not much else other than that. All right, Caitlin just spotted a pig frog, which is not a species we see in Georgia very often. Very cool looking, ever so slightly different looking from a bullfrog. All right, here is the first banded water snake on the way back that is new. This guy was not out on our first pass, so seems like new stuff is coming out. Looks like he's just coming out of a hole right there getting ready to bass. You can actually see his head. All right, it's time to transition into one of my favorite types of herping, habitat hiking and a controlled burn. All right, it's not a herp, but I always love messing with these guys. It's a mole cricket. There he goes. <laughs> it's so cool. All right, I just bark flipped our first southern toad of the year. Look at those cranial crests. Very pronounced, unlike in uh, Americanus, the American toad, which is basically just the, the northern counterpart of the southern toad. Whose tin did I just find? It's not mine. I'm going to respectfully peek underneath. Looks pretty good. I'm guessing this is a knot tin. Shout out a knot. Oh, there's a ring neck. I didn't see him at first. There's a little southern ring neck. Very, very cool. Is that our first ring neck of the year? I think it is. Some of these deep south Georgia ring necks have a little bit of a different look to them. Kind of a, a more orange ring. I think this guy's going into shed though. I'm starting to think I'm destined to just never find another cane break. I mean, look at this. Where's he at? All right, guys, I have officially become frustrated. We have been hiking for hours, and since we left the uh, the wetland area, we have not seen anything. But, I mean, the habitat looks good. It's freshly burned in some places, at least. Not as many stumps as I'd like, but I, I just don't understand how we haven't seen anything over here. But we're going to keep at it. Sometimes you just have to sit in the fire, quite literally. I was just talking about how I wanted to see a nice white canebrake curled up in the burn. And, uh... Naturally, that means that there is a nice not white cane break curled up outside the burn. That actually probably would be a very pretty snake freshly shed, but as of now, he's a little bit dusty. But a snake nonetheless, and exactly what we were hoping to see in this habitat. All right, well that is about as good of an in situ as we can ask for, but uh, these, these deep South Georgia cane breaks go through this dusty phase when they're about to get into shed, where they just look like a completely different snake than they would if they were freshly shed. That is so awesome. This snake has been an absolute sweetheart just sitting here letting us take pictures. So hasn't even budged. We're going to leave her right there and maybe see if we can get one that's freshly shed. I doubt it considering this time of year. A lot of the snakes are probably going to be in shed, but we'll see what we can do. This is kind of neat. There's a big tip up here. Looks like the kind of place a rattlesnake would be. But where the, uh, the tip up happened... There's a bunch of sundews popping up right here. This little guy I just flipped under a charred log is a pine witch tree frog. For whatever reason, you find these guys under logs and bark pretty often. I mean, I guess it makes sense being the pine witch tree frog, but it's always surprising to see them under kind of hot objects of cover. Whoa. All right, we're back to the uh, swampy areas. And here is another banded water snake, of course. And this guy's been sitting here all day. He's digesting a meal by the looks of it, which could explain his uh, persistent basking. But the sun is definitely going behind the trees. We're going to make one more pass through this swampy area where we started the day. Try for that green water snake again, and if we don't see one, then it is what it is. All right, here's another new banded water snake Caitlin just spotted. You guys see it? What about now? All right, everybody. Well, I think that's going to be it for the day in the episode. We do still have a couple days left on this trip, and hopefully they will go well. But we have found a lot of stuff between yesterday and today, so I am probably going to wrap this one up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are enjoying the spring-like weather as much as I am, at least vicariously through my videos if it's not nice where you live. But anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow morning for some more habitat hiking, more than likely. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet tomorrow, but I'm going to figure it out tonight, so... 
I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching.